everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the Hungry Girl Scoopable Apple Pie. Now I've made this several times before and this is absolutely delicious. So I can't wait to go ahead and get this started and get this made so that I can have some later. Um, it doesn't call for, for a ton of ingredients. It's eight Granny Smith apples. So I just got back from the store and have these rinsed and ready to go. And I also have Fuji apples, so I thought I would do six Granny Smith and two Fuji. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of Truvia, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And of course, I will have the original recipe listed down below so that you can click the link and print off a copy for yourself. So let's go ahead and get this started and get it into the crock pot and see where we're at from there. So it says the first thing that we do is place the apples in a slow cooker sprayed with non-stick spray. And we're supposed to peel and slice the apples. I'm going to take a shortcut because I have an apple slicer, peeler, corer gadget. And you're not going to believe where I got it. Are you guys ready for this? Menards. You know I get everything from Menards, it seems like. I always find fun little gadgets there. And I think they were having a special. I'm just going to go ahead and spray my crock pot real quick. I think they were having a special on them and I think I got it for like five dollars. So I have two in my kitchen up in my cabinet and I think I might have a spare down in the basement in my overflow shelf. Just because of the fact that if this one goes bad I would really not like to pay full price for another one if I don't have to. So if you've not seen this gadget before hopefully I've got it in the frame. I'll try to maybe put it sideways so that you can see what I'm doing. How's that? Is that a little better? Yeah, it looks a little better. So it's got this little this little knob here that you can sometimes get it to stick to your counter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and place my apple on the prongs. And then I'm just going to hold it and start to peel. And what that's going to do is just going to go ahead and peel it, core it, slice it all at the same time. Check this out. Can you see that? Let's see if you're getting a good look at that. Pretty awesome, right? Does leave a couple little pieces, but I'm fine with that. I don't really care that those are on there. So I'm gonna grab a cutting board real quick and put that over here. And I'm gonna just slice that and throw it right in. Slicing it right in half and tossing it right in my crock pot. There was a little seed left on this one. I'm just going to pop that out real quick. There it goes. And I always like to do this right over my sink. That way I can just drop everything right in here and start with the next one. And then I can just clean the peelings out of the sink when I'm done. So we're going to pop our next one on. It doesn't take long when you're not talking through it and having to show each piece. So let's just get these done real quick and then I'll tell you the next steps. I guess you gotta push it all the way through if you want it to release. Normally these will peel and core pretty good. If you get it where it's just a little bit off-centered, it will leave a couple of, I don't know, seeds in it. But I have my apple core here, so I'm just going to take this other one over here and just get this little smidgen that I missed. And that's it. All right, got that done. I'm going to slice these two, get these out of the way. And I'll show you what they look like in here when I'm done. But I thought it's just better to go ahead and get these done because really when you're working with apples, you want to kind of get them done as quick as you can so they don't start turning colors. 
I'm sure you've seen that before. Let's grab one of these Fujis and see how they do. You can tell it came loose on my counter. It doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't adhere to the counter super well, but it works good enough for me. All right, got that one in. If I can pop this one through. And I was going to speed through this, but I think it's sometimes it's important to show you that it really doesn't take that long to get through these. I know sometimes when I'm watching videos, I'm like, okay, you know, they, they jumped over and they stopped, but really how long did it take them to really do the entire process? And what has it taken me? Maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds per apple. So not too long. And I'm using a six quart crock pot today, just in case you were wondering. It is the Hamilton Beach Pro Programmable crock pot. And it, this is this is really my favorite. I've got a couple of them downstairs that I use. Mostly pull those out when I'm having parties or if I have two separate things that I'm cooking on a day. But it's always good to have a couple of crock pots. I don't know about you, but I use mine all the time. All right, let's get this one in here. Two more to go. Sometimes that little stem gets in the way. I try to tuck it in there. And you could do it either way. Um, I could have done it with the stem on the other side. I'll do that with the next one. It just seems like it's just habit to kind of keep doing them this way. And I cut them in half because it says to slice them. So I just figured this way I'm getting nice even slices. And again, I'll show you that with the next one. I'll show you what that looks like. We're going to toss this one in backwards. Just putting the stem this way instead. And you'll see it really doesn't make a difference. Sometimes it gets big old strings going. All right, so you can see here that it just gives me nice, even apple slices. Usually when the grandkids are here, I will have them do this part because they really like doing it. And then it's just what I could be processing or doing something else while they're playing with this. All right, so I'll clean this up when we go to, I was going to say when we go to break, that's kind of funny, right? I'm just going to rinse my hands here, and then we'll see what's next on our list. I'll get that out of the way. All right, so next, it says to, in a medium bowl, combine cornstarch with three quarter cups of water and whisk to dissolve. So we're going to need two tablespoons of cornstarch and three quarter cups of water. Try to keep my measuring cups handy in a spot that I can find pretty quickly. I don't know about you, but I use mine quite a bit. All right, that's close enough, three quarter cup. I have my cornstarch here. And I don't know if there's like a particular brand that you're supposed to use, but I just get pretty much whatever's cheapest. I don't use it a lot. So let me grab my whisk real quick. All right. I forgot about this step because it's been a little while since I've made this. So there's one and there's two. Just gonna whisk that together really quick. seems like it's one of those ingredients. I just don't use cornstarch a lot. I don't know why. I guess I just don't cook a lot of things that need to be thickened. So then it says add all remaining ingredients and then whisk well. So let's put the rest of our stuff in here. Got my other phone out here to follow the recipe. 
So three tablespoons of Truvia. Hopefully it's a good frame for it. I left that in the way again, didn't I? Bring this in here. One, two, and three. And did you notice in the description that this recipe is zero smart points? That's pretty amazing, right? It does make eight servings. So we've got our trivia in there. Next, we're going to put in two teaspoons of lemon juice. So I just have some lemon juice that I picked up. So two tablespoons of this. Please comment below if you've ever made this before. I really like the Hungry Girl recipes. I've been using them for quite a few years. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. for a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to measure that before I dump this in. And I'm just going to eyeball that. Got that good. And then one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. That's one. Approximately a half. A quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Again, I'm just going to eyeball this as well. Good enough. All right. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I got this big old bottle here from, I think, Sam's Club when I was there. I was out of my reel and it's not baking season yet, so I figured it was okay just to have that on hand because normally I'll just make my overnight oats with it and it works well with that. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir to incorporate. I don't know about you, it always takes forever to get the cinnamon to incorporate it because it's so powdery. Okay, how does that look? It's hard to see. Once I get out from underneath the lights over here, it seems like it's a little harder to see. All right, so I'm going to switch the view over here to my crock pot. So hold tight. Okay, so I've got you over here in front of my crock pot. You can see that, like I said, this is a six quart crock pot and it is, I mean, it's, it's good, good size. It's, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of apples in here. Got another little seed. I don't worry about the seeds because it seems like if there's a tiny one in here, it really doesn't make a difference. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to pour this mixture over the apples. And I just try to coat it, just like I said, to kind of keep them from browning if I can get it all in there. And then we're going to turn this on high for one and a half hours or until the apples have softened and the, the, the liquid has thickened. So we're gonna go ahead and let that do its thing and then when that's done, I will come back at you and I'll show you the rest. All right, I've checked our apples and stirred them and they seem like they need to cook just a little bit more. So I've turned them back on for an hour. I'll check them after a half hour and see where we're at. So stay tuned. All right, our scoopable apple pie is done and it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like I just baked an apple pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate this into eight servings. And then again, that is zero smart points. So. Wow, I mean, 
every time I make this, I just can't believe how good it turns out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give this a try because you will be nothing but pleased. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.